Hello, my name is Joe from Swansway Chester Peugeot, and today I'm going to be telling you why you should buy the 2022 Peugeot 308. So, straight out the box, we have the beautiful new design across the whole of this new shape 308. We have the elongated bonnet, which slopes very nicely down into the gloss black radiator grille, which houses the very nice new Peugeot logo. This is the first Peugeot model range to house this logo on the front and the side of the cars, which is a feature of the GT and GT Premium models. This also has quite a funny new nickname called the Lion on the Shield. Now I know what you're thinking, why is it called the Lion on the Shield? And the answer will blow your mind. It's because it's a lion on a shield. Mental, right? We also have the LED saber tooth headlights on either side of the car, which I think we can all agree are extremely menacing and it's very nice to look at. They also house the daytime, daytime running lights, can't even speak, the daytime running lights on both sides, which I think really make the outside and whole appearance of this car extremely, extremely attractive. So coming around the car, we have the 18 inch dam cut alley wheels. Would you buy some of these? Yeah, I think I would too, personally. We also have the pinched shoulder line, which fades out lovely in the center of the car, and it comes back out at the back. This makes the car look a lot wider than it actually is. And we also have the pearlescent pearl white paintwork, which really makes these black details pop along all of the car. So onto the back, it is just as attractive as on the front. The pinched shoulder line fades lovely into the LED 3D Perso Signature Clawfuck brake lights. Rah! Sorry, they made me do that. And it's connected by the lovely gloss black detailing, which, let's be honest, just looks really nice. The handle for the boot is conveniently tucked away underneath here, which is perfect for stopping your fingers getting dirty. So inside the boot we have 412 litres of storage space. We have the handy cargo net here and a little bit extra storage space underneath. And I think you could probably roughly fit about three large suitcases in there. In fact, I think it's more than adequate. So down to the facts, we have three choices of engines, petrol, diesel and hybrid. The entry level is petrol with a 1.2 litre three cylinder engine, which produces a 131 brake horsepower. The diesel is a 1.5 litre three cylinder engine, which also produces 131 brake horsepower. And finally, you have the hybrid, which gives you the two power output choices 1.6 litre connected with the electric motor with either 180 brake horsepower or 225. All models are automatic with the eight speed transmission. So, if you like what you see so far, click the link in the top corner of your screen right now. Or if you're going to watch to the end of the video, you can click in the description for a link directly to our website. So, into the driving seat, we have the very stylish and futuristic centre console. We have the brand new compact black leather steering wheel with the flat top and bottom, which is very, very comfortable to drive with. You can easily adjust the steering wheel to your preferred position, depending on what driving style that you like. But personally, I prefer it to be quite low. This will allow you to see over the steering wheel and see your Peugeot cockpit very, very clearly. Moving across towards the beautiful 10-inch capacitor colour touchscreen, which me and cameraman Sam will look in more detail in a little bit. Just below this, we have the smartphone charging plate, a little bit extra storage space, and a 12 volt charger and USB port for charging your Android or Apple devices. Quite conveniently uh, hidden away, we have the dual cup holder, which will allow you to store two drinks while you're driving. This is the brand new iToggle automatic gear shifter, which will be on all of the new automatic range. And we also have the drive modes button, which we will use to flick between eco, normal and sports mode on your Peugeot cockpit. Just a little bit further back, we have a little bit more storage space and a beautiful butterfly wing leather storage compartment, which is perfect for keeping any extra items that you have and also has a USB port in there as well. As you can see, just about on the back of these seats, we have the beautiful Peugeot logo which is embroidered onto your headrest, which is a very nice addition to the premium leather of this car. So, onto the technology on this car, we have the very handy steering wheel mounted controls, which will control some of the settings on your Peugeot cockpit and your 10-inch capacitive colour touchscreen. As this is the Peugeot 3DI cockpit, it provides a very nice and clear display, and it's nothing like I've personally ever driven before. Onto your 10-inch capacitive colour touchscreen, and we'll see the very nice display, which is extremely responsive. If you have ever driven a Peugeot before, you will know about the three-finger touch, which will display all of your current apps. This car also comes with the OK Peugeot setting, which will provide you with the voice commands and will display any voice command that you show on your screen. We also have the touchscreen buttons along the bottom, which you can customise to your preferred positions, and you also have the Mo screen, Apple and Android CarPlay, as well as multiple different uh, apps such as your phone and navigation. You can also make use of the rear reversing camera, as we can see, James being a good sport, and he provides you with the extra lines, which makes 
parking inside busy city areas very easily. So in the back, we have a really decent amount of space. We have the dual air conditioning, the two USB ports and the handy storage cargo parts on the back of the two front seats. We also have this very nice the tucked away storage compartment which uncovers the two additional cup holders and you can also access the boot via the little ski hatch in the center this is perfect for storing any longer large items that you have and will further increase your boot space this tucks away very nicely and makes a nice sleek finish to the back of your car now here's a tongue twister for you we have the blue naboo napa leather effect seats which come at an additional cost of 2050 pound but for, for my personal preference, these are the comfiest seats that I've ever sat on at Peugeot. We also have the two ISO fix points in the back as well. If you're enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to hit subscribe and leave a comment in the box below. So, how does this car feel to drive? Firstly, it's super smooth, nimble and agile across all of the corners and it really feels planted in the centre of the road. This car has the 18 inch dam cut alley wheels which can make a car feel quite firm, but in this case, you can't feel it at all. One of my favorite features is the really nice turning circle, which our cameraman Sam will be putting on the screen for you now. We filmed this in the heart of the Chester city center and it was really fun to film. But please, please do not take my word for it. Visit the link in the description or call the number provided to book a test drive. This car is in the showrooms right now. So right about now, you're probably thinking, wow, this looks great. But how much is this actually going to cost me, Jim? I'm about to tell you. The entry level for this car is just over £24,000, and for hybrid models, it's just over £33,000. Fantastic. Back to the question at the start. Why should you buy the 2022 Peugeot 308? Because it looks great. Well, I don't know where that come from, but let's roll with it. What do you think, Sam? I agree too. I like it because 